And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Puertosaurus, which was a request from Marie S. via YouTube, so thanks. It was a titanosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Patagonia, and the type species is Puertosaurus ruelli. It's named in honor of Pablo Puerta and Santiago Reu, who discovered the specimen in 2001 and helped prepare it. And it was described in 2006 by Fernando Novas and colleagues. They found a neck vertebra, back vertebra, and two tail vertebrae. You tend to find fewer bones of larger animals because they're probably scattered by scavengers and environmental factors such as flood, winds, and storms before the body's buried. Plus, you have to have a massive area that's geologically beneficial for fossilization. <laughs> that too. Lots of factors. Yeah. So the back vertebra, though, it's about 1 meter or 3.6 feet tall and 1.7 meter or 5.6 feet wide. It's the broadest known sauropod vertebra, mm. and two-thirds of it have these wing-like diapophyses, which support the ribs and merge with the centrum and neural spine to make a wide spade-like shape. Mm. In other sauropods, the vertebra is not as large and forms a crossbar shape. So, Portosaurus is one of the biggest known dinosaurs. It's originally estimated to be about 115 to 131 feet, or 35 to 40 meters long, and weighed about 80 to 100 metric tons. Oof. But now it's thought to be 98 feet, or 30 meters long, and weigh 50 metric tons, though there's some who think that it might be only 89 feet, or 27 meters long, and weighing 60 to 70 metric tons. It's that common phenomenon of the shrinking dinosaurs over time. <laughs> Although, yeah, it's interesting to think it might weigh more. Yeah, because that's that whole shrink wrap t kind of thing. Mm. How how much meat is hanging off those bones. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not clear if Puertosaurus was one of the longest titanosaurs, but it seems to be similar in size to Argentinosaurus, at least lengthwise. The dorsal vertebra shows that it had a more massive rib cage than Argentinosaurus, so it's possible that Puertosaurus would have been wider. It's similar to titanosaurs in the group Lognacosauria, which are some of the longest, heaviest dinosaurs. So Puertosaurus is related to titanosaurs such as Mendozasaurus. These titanosaurs had more flexible necks than other titanosaurs, so it's possible Puertosaurus could eat a large range of plants without having to walk much. It could easily consume food in one place, so that would have helped it grow and maintain its large size. Before Puertosaurus, scientists thought that the largest titanosaurs in this Lognacosauria group lived earlier in the late Cretaceous, but Puertosaurus was found in early Maastrichtian deposits, which means these large dinosaurs may have lived all the way to the end of the Cretaceous. The latest Cretaceous. Yeah, latest <laughs> of the latest. 